Howdy folks, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. Today I am here to show you a, another rainwater harvest project complete. And I've been working on this one off and on for about a month now, just uh, here and there. It Parts wise, it cost me probably about $30, mostly in paint. And I'll, I actually, I'll include a link to the video I did of painting the IBC totes, which will keep the algae out and uh, keep algae from growing. And I also had to paint the downspouts. So I recycled most of this. I had the parts on property and downspouts I had, I had some brown, I had some white and it just kind of looked like hell. So I went ahead and took some brown spray paint and spray painted that to make it look good. But what the whole point of this is, is I have a uh, gutter going across that I added a little bit of an angle to send the water over to the downspout. Downspout comes over and takes the water and puts it right here on top. I just put a simple screen on top and the screen keeps things from, uh, it keeps some of the goop from going in there. You can see that. So it cleans it up a little bit. And down at the bottom here, I just have two inch PVC and it connects three IBC totes together. And on the end here, I just simply have a water spout, which right now is off because I have those off. But what I do is I use this to water my chickens and their water feed feeder is over here, that white five gallon bucket. I have chicken nipples on it. So what I do is I take a garden watering can and I fill it up at the downspout here. And then I take it over and I add it to the five gallon bucket. And it saves me a lot of walking because the chicken coop is not near a spigot anywhere else. And it helps save water a little bit. If you have any questions, do me a favor, uh, include them in the show notes. Let me know what you do with your chickens as far as feeding. I am going to modify this system in the before winter or before we get too far into the fall. I'm actually going to go up on the roof and include solar and give myself a, or put a battery inside of this, as we call it, lean to. It's kind of a uh, carport kind of thing. I'll put a battery in there and I hopefully will have enough power to use a stock tank heater and a 55 gallon drum to keep water from freezing during the winter. And maybe if I can, uh, I'll do the calculations, if I can come up with enough power out of it, then I'll go ahead and hook a pump up and I'll actually use the warm water to circulate through and I'll, I'll come up with a different nipple system in the coop itself to basically circulate the warm water through to keep the entire system from freezing and that will save an awful lot of effort during the winter so i don't have to truck water out here multiple times a day so uh, if you have any comments or any suggestions on how to winterize this kind of stuff uh, uh please let me know as far as winterizing I will be actually draining the IBC totes and letting all the water out of those in the PVCs. The IBC tote can handle some expansion, but the connectors on the bottom here and the PVC would all shatter if they froze because the water would expand. So I have to winterize that system. That's why I would go to a smaller 55 gallon drum and I would think that a stock tank heater or something wouldn't draw too much power and it would be smaller and if I have a pump to circulate it through, that would prevent anything from freezing. But it's all an experiment. We'll see. I'll have future videos coming on that. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.